Hello, this is Dr. Tom with a presentation on NCES problem number 56. This particular problem is on the first law for open systems, so uh, let's get started. Okay, this problem involves a uh, closed feed water heater, which is basically where another heat exchanger where two fluids do not mix. Uh, in the statement of the problem, all the enthalpies but one are given, uh, which is fortunate as double interpolation would probably have been uh, needed at least uh, at state number one uh, of the incoming stream. Uh, however, these enthalpies are really uh, substituted in an equation whose origin is unexplained, so that's where we're going to do first. And as uh, unfortunately happens in too many of the NCS solutions, there's a complete lack of units except in maybe the final answer. So let's see what we can do here. Okay, the closed feed water heater has two inlets and two outlets, so the first law has to be expressed as, as the following. Again, uh, uh, we're neglecting the uh, heat transfer to and from the surroundings. Of course, there's heat transfer happening between the two fluids. Those are equal, but uh, you wouldn't want to put your hand on the outside of the feed water heater, but it's, it's, uh, we're not, it, the major thing is not ex heat transfer to or from the surroundings. And of course, there's no work in or work out and we're neglecting the uh, kinetic and potential energy changes, so this equation reduces to the following. Our familiar sum of the m dot uh, uh, I, h i n equals the uh, sum of the m dot exit h e uh, uh, exit uh, out. So we'll have two in, two out. Okay, so uh, denoted them denoted as the uh, figure there. We got m1 dot h1 plus m2 dot h2 is going to equal m3 dot h3 plus m4 dot h4. And from conservation of mass, m1 dot equals m dot 3, and we're given m2 dot and m dot 4 are 60,000 pounds per minute. So we can substitute those uh, mass flow rate equations and rearrange to give uh, give the uh, incoming mass flow rate at point one as the following. Uh, we sort of expand the terms, collect terms in m1 dot and m2 dot, and then solve for m1 dot to give it m2 dot times the uh, those two differences and uh, uh, ratios of two differences in the enthalpies one, two, three, and four. Okay, so now putting in, uh, substituting all of these enthalpies uh, into this uh, value here, uh, we have 60,000 pounds per minute for M2 dot, and then the difference in the enthalpies H4 minus H2 divided by the difference H1 minus H3 uh, gives uh, about 8,829 pounds per minute, which is answer B. Now, note that uh, the enthalpy at 3 was not given, however, it's merely the uh, saturated liquid value for a pressure of 110 psi. Now, one uh, follow-on uh, thought here is suppose the enthalpies had not been given, okay? Finding these uh, for the points 2, 3, and 4 are kind of straightforward. However, for 1, uh, there, uh, where the um, steam is superheated, the given pressure and temperature would require a theoretically a double interpolation. However, one option is uh, to go to the nearest uh, pressure and temperature, in this case 100 uh, PSIA and 400 degrees F. As it turns out, that would give you a value only 0.3% lower than the value that was actually given. Okay, so while um, double interpolation is appropriate, uh, realize that uh, just picking the value that's close by will give you an answer, and uh, since typically the answers are spread out, uh, you probably will be just fine. So wanted to uh, to make that uh, particular uh, fact known to you. Hope that hope that helps. Okay, well as always, we uh, appreciate you allowing us to help you prepare for this exam.